Hello and welcome back to the Immortal News Family. In today's heartfelt video, we bring to you the latest updates on the passing of some truly remarkable individuals within the last 24 hours. As a part of the Immortal News Family, we are committed to honoring and remembering those who have made a lasting impact in our lives and the world. If this video touches your heart, or if the stories of these extraordinary people have moved you, please show your respect and remembrance by giving this video a thumbs up. Thank you for joining us in this moment of reflection and tribute. Number 6. Troy Beckwith, a beloved actor known for his iconic role as Michael Martin on Neighbors, passed away at the age of 48. His departure leaves a void in the hearts of his fans and colleagues in the entertainment industry. Born into the world of acting, Beckwith rose to fame for his portrayal of Sicko Miko, one of the greatest villains in the history of the Australian soap opera, Neighbors. His performance captivated audiences and showcased his immense talent and versatility as an actor. Beckwith's journey in the world of acting was marked by his commitment and dedication to each role he undertook. Beyond his professional achievements, Beckwith was remembered by his co-stars and friends as a kind and empathetic person whose playful and cheeky nature once he opened up endeared him to all who knew him. His sudden passing has left a profound impact on those who worked closely with him, evidenced by the heartfelt tributes that poured in from his colleagues. In 2017, Beckwith faced a personal challenge when he went missing for a period, leaving his family and friends deeply concerned. Thankfully, he was found safe and well, bringing immense relief to those who cared for him. Aside from his notable role in Neighbors, Beckwith also starred in the children's series Pugwall, where he played the character of Jeremy Baza Baslington, further cementing his versatility as an actor. His work in these series not only entertained, but also influenced a generation of viewers, leaving a lasting legacy in the world of Australian television. His life and career were marked by his passion for acting, his unique talent, and the warm memories he created for his audience. He will be remembered fondly for his contributions to the entertainment industry and the joy he brought to his fans. Tributes to Troy Beckwith Number 5. Conrad Kevin Chase, a versatile and dynamic American artist, passed away in January 2024 at the age of 58. Born in Portland, Maine, on June 9, 1965, Chase led a life marked by creativity, innovation, and a flair for the dramatic arts. Chase's journey into the limelight began with his participation in Spain's Gran Hermano, Big Brother, showcasing his charismatic personality. He was a vital member of the Dutch boy band The Baja Boys, where he contributed significantly to their musical endeavors. His single La Gozadera, released in 2004 with Juanjo Rocamora, became a summer hit in Spain, epitomizing his ability to capture the cultural zeitgeist. He continued his musical success with his feature on No Te Quiero Mas alongside Las Latinas in 2006. Before his rise in entertainment, Chase served in the U.S. Army Signal Corps as a telecommunications center operator from 1983 to 1986, demonstrating his diverse talents and commitment. His academic pursuit in electronics technology at the Southern Maine Technical College further highlighted his multifaceted interests and abilities. A visionary in the use of technology, Chase was known for implementing an RFID chip system in his nightclubs, this innovative approach revolutionized the nightclub experience, offering VIP access and streamlined payment methods, and was even featured in TV series like CSI Miami and Moonlight. Chase's linguistic prowess, fluent in English, Dutch, and Spanish, allowed him to connect with a diverse audience, further enhancing his impact as a public speaker. His appearances on various television shows including Tele5, Gran Hermano 6, Tele5, Aqui Hai Tomate, and international networks like CNN and BBC reflected his broad appeal and versatility. Chase's film roles, including his work in Plankton and Mi Padre, showcased his talent as an actor, adding yet another dimension to his impressive career. The entertainment world has lost a remarkable talent in Conrad Kevin Chase, 
His innovative spirit, artistic versatility, and charismatic presence will be remembered and celebrated. He leaves behind a legacy of breaking boundaries and embracing technology in the world of entertainment. Tributes to Conrad Kevin Chase. Number 4. Lance Melvin Larson, a titan of the swimming world and a revered Olympian, passed away at the age of 83. His journey, marked by record-breaking swims and Olympic glory, began in Monterey Park, California, where he first demonstrated his extraordinary talent at El Monte High School. He shattered records and expectations, becoming the first high school swimmer to break the 50-second barrier in the 100-yard freestyle and setting the world ablaze as the first man to complete the 100-meter butterfly in under 60 seconds. At the University of Southern California, Larson's prowess only grew. Competing for the USC Trojans, he dominated in the individual medley, butterfly, and sprint freestyle, claiming national championships and setting the stage for his Olympic feats. The 1960 Summer Olympics in Rome saw Larson ascend to the pinnacle of his sport. He swam the butterfly leg of the men's 4100 meter medley relay, leading the U.S. team to a gold medal and a world record. However, it was his performance in the 100-meter freestyle that etched his name in the annals of Olympic history. Involved in one of the most controversial finishes in Olympic swimming, Larson was a central figure in a race that highlighted the need for electronic timing in the sport. His life after swimming was as rich and diverse as his athletic career. He was a loving husband and father, raising four sons and two adopted daughters. His professional journey as a dentist in Orange, California, demonstrated his dedication and commitment to his community. Inducted into the International Swimming Hall of Fame in 1980, Larson's legacy extends far beyond the confines of the pool. His achievements have inspired generations of swimmers, and his story remains a testament to the power of determination and excellence. His life was a remarkable journey of athletic triumph and personal fulfillment. As we remember him, we celebrate a man whose life was a beacon of inspiration in the world of sports and beyond. Tributes to Lance Melvin Larson. Number 3. Lang Walker, a giant in the realms of property development and philanthropy, passed away at the age of 78. Remembered as a visionary by his family, Walker's impact on post-war Australia through his expansive builds is undeniable. He was a man who not only shaped cityscapes, but also touched lives through his philanthropic efforts. Starting his journey in 1964 as a partner in his father's earth-moving business, Walker's career trajectory saw him pivot to property development in 1972 with the formation of the Walker Group. His work in redeveloping large city sites resulted in ambitious projects like King Street Wharf, Finger Wharf, Parramatta Square, Collins Square in Melbourne, and Festival Tower in Adelaide. These projects not only transformed city landscapes but also built a legacy of architectural excellence. Beyond his business acumen, Walker was a man of immense wealth and generosity. His entrance onto the Australian Financial Review's Rich List in 1986 marked the beginning of a prosperous career that saw him accumulate a personal wealth of $5.1 billion. Yet, it was his philanthropic work that truly defined his character. Through the Walker Family Foundation, he contributed significantly to various causes, including the Powerhouse Museum and Campbelltown Hospital, showcasing his commitment to enriching communities and supporting the arts. Walker's influence extended beyond his financial and philanthropic endeavors. He was known for his ability to navigate the complex interplay between business and politics, a testament to his strategic foresight and understanding of governance. His contributions to both major political parties were a part of this dynamic, though not without their controversies. His passing in Wulumulu marks the end of an era, leaving behind a legacy that extends well beyond the skylines he helped shape. 
survived by his wife, three adult children, and ten grandchildren, Lang Walker's zest for life, relentless pursuit of perfection, and generous spirit will continue to inspire and live on through his family and the many lives he touched. Tributes to Lang Walker Number 2. Enrique Liparache, a stalwart of Argentine cinema, theater, and television, passed away at the age of 82. Born on June 10, 1941, Liparache embarked on his acting journey in 1963 with La Terraza, directed by Leopoldo Torre Nilsson. This debut marked the beginning of an illustrious career spanning over six decades, during which Liparache became a revered figure in the Argentine entertainment industry. His versatility as an actor was evident in the wide array of roles he portrayed. He collaborated with renowned directors like Luis Saslavsky, Hugo del Carril, Lucas Demar, and Manuel Antin, establishing himself as a formidable supporting actor. His personal life, particularly his relationship with actress Soledad Silvera, also garnered attention, though their paths diverged over time. One of his most memorable performances came in Adolfo Aristarain's Tiempo de Revancha, where he played Basile, a compromised mining engineer. This role, along with his lead role in Aristarain's thriller, Ultimos Dias de la Victima, cemented his place in Argentine cinema. Liparace's theatrical pursuits also flourished during this period, notably with his role in Osvaldo Dragoon's military drama, Al Vencedor. He continued to challenge himself with diverse characters, including a transvestite man in Hebert Posse Amorim's Sin Querer Queriendo, his portrayal of Raul Apold in Eva Peron and the café proprietor in Bolivia further demonstrated his range as an actor. Later in his career, he found immense success in theater, particularly with his role in Hernán Cachiari's play Más Respeto Que Soy Tu Madre. This play, set during Argentina's economic crisis, resonated with audiences, drawing half a million viewers in Buenos Aires alone. His legacy is defined by his profound impact on Argentine entertainment, his dedication to his craft, and the diverse roles he embraced with finesse and depth. His contributions to the arts will continue to inspire future generations of actors and filmmakers. Tributes to Enrique Liparas Today's top headlines. News 1. Beloved television personality and Rhode Island traffic judge Frank Caprio recently disclosed his diagnosis of pancreatic cancer. Known for his compassion and kindness on his reality TV show Caught in Providence, Judge Caprio has become a viral sensation for his empathetic approach in the courtroom. Judge Caprio shared this personal news via Instagram, revealing that he received the diagnosis around his birthday last month. Despite the challenging news, he remains optimistic, citing the support of an excellent medical team at both Rhode Island and the Dana-Farber Cancer Institute in Massachusetts. The 87-year-old judge, serving since 1985, has gained national admiration for his role in Caught in Providence, which earned a Daytime Emmy nomination in 2021. As he faces this health battle, Caprio has requested prayers and support from his fans, acknowledging their role in giving him strength. News 2 Jamie Foxx has expressed gratitude for receiving three nominations at the 55th NAACP Image Awards, celebrated for his roles in The Burial, They Cloned Tyrone, and Story Ave. Foxx shared his appreciation on Instagram, reflecting on his personal journey following a health scare last April. He acknowledged this period as a second chance at life, thanking his sister Deidre Dixon and daughter Corinne Foxx for their support. Foxx, who faced a severe health challenge that impacted his mobility, has made a remarkable recovery. He resumed filming for Back in Action alongside Cameron Diaz, marking his return to acting after a nine-month break. Sources close to Fox report he is feeling fantastic and is enthusiastic about completing the film. His experience has deepened his respect for life and his passion for the arts, 
making his return to the screen a testament to his resilience and talent. News 3. Malcolm Edward Gregson, an esteemed English professional golfer, passed away in January 2024 at age 80. Gregson's notable career included winning the Harry Varden Trophy in 1967 and participating in the Ryder Cup. Starting his golfing journey in Leicester, he turned professional in 1961, quickly making his mark in the sport. His remarkable year in 1967 saw victories in the Schweppes PGA Championship and the Dax Tournament, cementing his place in golf history. Later in his career, Gregson played on the PGA Tour and remained active in European tournaments. In his senior years, he was a regular on the European Senior Tour, winning five events and making significant contributions to the sport. Gregson's legacy in golf is marked by his skill, achievements, and the impact he had on the game. News 4 In a tragic yet heroic incident, Kevin Howell, the town manager of Carmel, Maine, lost his life after rescuing his four-year-old son from an icy pond. The incident occurred early Friday morning when Howell and his son fell through the ice on Etna Pond. Demonstrating immense courage, Howell managed to save his son, sending him to alert his mother at their home nearby. Upon receiving her son's distressing news, Howell's wife immediately called 911 and rushed to the pond with an anchor and rope to save her husband. Tragically, she too fell through the ice but was rescued by Penobscot County Sheriff Detective Jordan Norton, who arrived promptly at the scene. Despite the efforts of first responders and a recovery team, Howell was later found deceased in the pond. The community mourns the loss of a dedicated family man and town leader, known for his love of outdoor activities with his family, including skiing, boating, and hiking. Howell is survived by his wife, Katie, and their son, Sawyer. News 5 A British skydiver, Nathy Odinson, tragically passed away in Thailand after his parachute failed to deploy during a base jump from a 29-story apartment block in the resort city of Pattaya. The 33-year-old's fatal jump on Saturday evening was being filmed by a friend, capturing the harrowing moments when the parachute malfunctioned. Odinson, who hailed from Cambridgeshire, had been residing in Thailand and worked at a skydiving school in Pattaya, assisting clients with tandem jumps. The footage of his preparation showed him adjusting his equipment before the fatal leap. Unfortunately, the chute did not open correctly, leading to his landing in a tree and subsequently the ground. The skydiving community and Odinson's clients have expressed their condolences on social media. Thai authorities are further investigating the parachute's malfunction and have informed the British Embassy in Bangkok. The embassy is extending support to Odinson's family in the UK. News 6 Vanya Nonnenmacher, mother of supermodel Giselle Bündchen, passed away at 75 after a cancer battle. Her death came following her treatment in a Porto Alegre hospital. She is survived by her husband Valdir, daughter Giselle, and five other daughters. Giselle recently shared images on Instagram with her mother, expressing gratitude and reconnecting with essential life aspects. Nonnenmacher, a former bank teller, significantly influenced Giselle's career enrolling her in a modeling course for posture and confidence, leading to Giselle's scouting in Sao Paulo. Giselle has not yet publicly commented on her mother's passing. News 7. Carl Pearson, renowned educator, Hall of Fame coach and author, passed away after battling esophageal cancer. His legacy at Waconia Public Schools, where he served since 2011, is marked by passion for teaching and coaching. His coaching career, spanning 17 seasons, culminated in a Hall of Fame induction and a record-setting basketball team at Waconia. He authored books including The Other Side of Glory, capturing his team's journey. Pearson's impact as a teacher, coach, and community leader leaves an enduring imprint. He is survived by his wife, Jean, and sons, Boston and Colton. Number one, Andrew Payne, a superb television scriptwriter and playwright recognized for his unique narrative style and his adored invention, high in the sky, passed away at the age of 74. His ability to combine humor and drama into compelling stories elevated him to the ranks of British television's most prominent figures. His work was distinguished by a diverse range of genres, demonstrating his ability as a writer. His work to the popular television series Minder, which starred the iconic characters Arthur Daly and Terry McCann, is noted for its blend of comedy and action. 
His gift for telling compelling stories was evident in the 11 episodes he wrote for the series, which combined wit with dramatic aspects, demonstrating his ability to balance varied tones in his writing. However, it was pie in the sky that most captured his artistic talent. The series, which aired from 1994 to 1997, offered a unique perspective on the detective genre. Henry Crabb, a retired investigator turned chef, represented his taste for reluctant heroes. This unorthodox approach to the criminal drama genre mirrored his goal to create something different than standard cop shows, providing a fresh flavor to the television scene. Aside from television, he has made important contributions to the stage. His plays, including Plan B and Don't Go There, demonstrated his skill for live theater as well as his versatility as a writer. His legacy goes beyond the iconic characters and tales he developed. His work captivated viewers, delivering both amusement and thought-provoking content to the cinema and stage. His departure creates a void in the world of British drama, but his talents will continue to inspire and entertain future generations. His originality, wit, and ability to deliver captivating stories will be greatly missed. His work demonstrates his tremendous talent as a scriptwriter and playwright. Tributes to Andrew Payne